This silky smooth chicken liver party is the perfect appetizer to kick off the new year. Hi, and you're watching Plating It With Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with these. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, share, and comment. And if you haven't subscribed already, press that subscribe button. And while you're at it, if you hit on that bell icon, you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get started. For this recipe, we're gonna go in with 250 grams of fresh chicken livers. And I've trimmed off all that excess white membrane that you get between the chicken livers because we want a nice, creamy, smooth chicken party. To get a mild bite to the party, we're gonna go in with two shallots. You could even use an onion if you wanted, but I just wanna keep the flavors very mild. You don't have to worry about it being fine or thick because anyway, we're gonna puree it, so it's all gonna become smooth. We're just gonna put the sliced shallots aside into a bowl while we cut up our garlic. And now for some earthy flavors, we're gonna go in with two garlic pods and I'm going in with one big one and a small one, or you could use two medium ones. We're just gonna chop it up. You don't need to really make it fine because as I said, we're gonna puree it all. Now let's add this to a bowl. To a heated skillet, we're gonna add 50 grams of room temperature unsalted butter. And to prevent the butter from burning, we're gonna add about a tablespoon of oil. And once the butter has melted, we're gonna to toss in the chopped shallots. Just gonna saute this just for about a minute. And as soon as the onions begin to look translucent, we're gonna to toss in the chopped garlic. Now let's saute this till the garlic loses its raw flavor. This should take about two minutes or so. This is such a quick appetizer to put together and it looks so fancy. It's perfect to bring in the new year. I can get that lovely aroma of the garlic, which means that it has fried well. Now let's toss in the chicken livers. Now we're gonna season that with a little salt. And I'm gonna add in one bay leaf. And we're gonna add in about four to five springs of thyme for some fresh flavor. Let's mix this all together and allow it to cook for about four to five minutes. And when cooking the chicken liver, you don't want to overcook it. You want to cook it just right. You want it to be a little pink on the inside. Now to give the party a little extra flavor, we're gonna add one tablespoon of cognac and let's season that with freshly ground black pepper. We're gonna add about a quarter teaspoon. Now we're going to stir this up and allow it to cook for another four minutes or so. The chicken liver is looking perfectly done, so we're going to take it off the heat now. We're just going to remove the bay leaf. Now we're going to empty this into a bowl so that it gets a chance to cool down. And we don't want to keep it in the hot pan because then it'll overcook. Now we're going to put this all into a blender and puree it. And we're gradually going to add in 100 grams of unsalted butter. It's going to go in with two cubes at a time. And now we're going to toss in the last two cubes of butter. And now we're going to puree this till we get a smooth texture to the party. Let's take a look at it. I think that looks perfect. It's so nice and smooth. To plate the party, we're gonna put it into a jar. And this also makes an excellent presentation. If you're going over to someone's house to bring in the new year, this is a nice gift item to take along. And to finish it off, we're gonna to top it with some melted butter and a little sprinkle of thyme. We're going to close up the jar and refrigerate this now for about an hour or two so that the flavors get a chance to mature and the party gets a chance to set. Thank you. 
And now it's time to give our chicken liver party a taste. Wow. Wow, this is so creamy and smooth and absolutely delicious. And I'm telling you, you've got to make this to bring in the new year. If you want the full written recipe, don't forget, hop onto my website, platingitwithwendy.com. Thanks for watching. See you soon.